Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug The Reviews and welcome back to this really, really special video because I'm going to be making the switch from Windows to Mac OS and this honestly is my very first MacBook. I've always wanted to purchase a MacBook, in fact, uh, ever since 7 years back. I've always wanted uh, the biggest MacBook, the one with the biggest screen, the one with the best specs and honestly, it also came with a very very hefty price tag but anyway today marks a very special and iconic day for me because i finally got my hands on the 2021 macbook pro 16 inch so this is the one with the m1 pro because i read many reviews and i've watched many reviews as well on youtube comparing the m1 pro with the m1 max and i found that for the price the m1 pro is honestly just a sweet spot so i went ahead went to the local apple retailer and got myself the M1 Pro. So this is the 512 GB, which is technically the lowest spec for the MacBook Pro. But uh, since I use iCloud, I do not need the one terabyte. I was initially looking for the one terabyte storage version of the 16 inch MacBook Pro, but um, in Malaysia, at least many of the stores are out of stock. So usually they bring in the configuration, which I have right here, which is the 512 GB storage version. So this will be replacing my seven year old laptop, which I've been using to edit all my videos, my 200 over videos, which I posted previously, which is this laptop I have right here, the Asus, actually I should say it's a gaming laptop, but I use it mainly for editing and of course gaming as well. Uh, but I'll still be using this laptop for gaming, but I'll be switching over to the MacBook Pro for editing. And on top of that, you might be wondering why did I get the 16 inch? Why not just get the 14 inch? If you need a bigger screen, just get the external display. The reason I got the 16 inch MacBook Pro is because I do not want an additional screen because I like to edit on the go. And that's the biggest downfalls of Intel based PCs is because they constantly need to be plugged in if you want the maximum performance. But on the M1 Pro, which I have right here, you can just edit on the fly, which means I can just go ahead in my office, do not have to bring the charging brick along with me just to edit a video. And on top of that, talking about size wise, the reason I got the 16 inch is because I already have the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. So if I bought the 14 inch uh, MacBook Pro, it would be like kind of too close in terms of the screen size. So I wanted something larger. Okay, so let's uh, quickly go through the unboxing because I already got this pre-unboxed at the store because I just wanted to check whether there was any defects on the machine itself. So let me flip over this really, really heavy box. So let me cover all the important information. So you can see 16 GB of unified memory, 512 GB SSD. So you can see right here, 16 inch MacBook Pro with Apple M1 Pro chip. So. This is the space gray version of course so flipping the box over to the right side let's remove the lid so yeah it has definitely has some heft to it okay so we have the lid removed we have the machine of course on the top as you've probably seen from like tons of unboxings already but this is just my take and i'm glad you guys can join with me for this very iconic experience so we have the macbook right here Let's uh, put that to the side. So in the box, of course, we do have our usual manuals. I'm not sure whether do they have an Apple sticker, but let's see. So we have some manuals, that's for sure. So yeah, last but not least, we do have some black Apple stickers, which is the first time I've ever seen black Apple sticker because usually Apple stickers are in white. But of course, uh, changing the MacBook Pro is a real learning curve for me because personally, never ever used a MacBook before or an, a Mac OS machine before. So uh, yeah, I, I hope my experience will be as good as I think it will be. But the thing I'm really impressed with this uh, latest MacBook is definitely the speakers. Uh, that is one of the iconic things about the new MacBook. And also, of course, the screen. Uh, the notch, uh, hate it or love it, uh, depends on you. Just like the notch on the iPhone, the same thing, but yeah, I've grown to kind of like it. All right, so let's take a look at what else comes in the box. You get the socket, of course, the power brick right here, which is honestly very hefty. But uh, since this MacBook has really good battery life, and of course, not sacrificing any of the performance, I will not have to actually carry around this heavy and chunky brick so let's put that back and the return of the MagSafe uh, charging 
cable of course the Mag MagSafe charging standard with this line of MacBooks so right here we have a USB-C of course this charger is USB-C to MagSafe with the very nice white braided cable so the presentation overall is very Apple very very Apple of course top notch that's for sure so let's take a look at the machine itself all right so right here we have the macbook itself you can see it's really really large so let's bring in the asus laptop which i've been using for the past seven years so the asus laptop honestly has been super chunky of course this has a disk drive and all that shenanigans but uh this does not have the macbook itself doesn't have but anyway let's see size comparison this is a 15 inch uh, laptop so you can see the size wise this is a 16 inch macbook pro so you can see the size is so much smaller of course thinner i can't really get the side camera angle but yes definitely thinner that's for sure in terms of weight the 16 inch macbook weighs a ton trust me when i say that because honestly i thought this laptop was heavy but the 16 inch macbook is very very close in terms of weight all right so let's unwrap the macbook you can see it's already unwrapped before um, by the way, let's do it again with you guys. Let's peel open the paper. Very, very nice. I'm trying not to tear this though. I just like to keep all the wrappers pristine. Just my thing. And here we have the back book in all its glory. Of course, I do wish the Apple logo was still backlit. I really miss that that's for sure and uh personally i do miss the touch bar uh, but of course physical buttons are much more tactile and responsive compared to a touch screen a small little touch screen but in terms of looks wise i think that looks more futuristic in my opinion but well function over form so that's what we have right here so let's uh open up the macbook you can see you can hear the sound in fact sounds absolutely fantastic right here we definitely have a very nice retina xdr display uh, but honestly this is really gorgeous let me just tilt the camera back you can see my messy table so this is really 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 nice uh of course yeah if you guys have been using macbook for the last like what decade or something uh this would be like oh this guy is just you know really really impressed by small upgrades but for me coming from a windows pc this is a very very big upgrade so you can see the setup screen is right here i will definitely have to input my data so i do hope to give you guys my thoughts about switching over to mac os i believe this needs an update because the new mac os has just been released i believe along with 15.4 uh, i'm not sure about that but i do have to check that out when i fully set up the machine but for now this honestly is really really awesome i love the thin bezels uh the notch is hidden right here because apple has done it so cleverly all right so this has been a pretty quick video and my initial impressions of uh, owning my very first macbook and especially showing you guys and experiencing it together with you guys so thanks guys for watching i will definitely have more content about this macbook and of course accessories and cases and stuff like that i'm sure you guys want to see that and yeah there's a definitely growing um, list of accessories for this macbook so i'll be trying to get my hands on them as soon as possible i hope you guys like this video of this very first impressions and do give it a thumbs up and so subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video